Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I can honestly say is probably the most excited I've ever been to do a video. A uh, very special day when um, I found out that I was going to get to do this video. I honestly was so honored and felt very special that I would get to um, show you all this beautiful new coach inspired by a very special person. So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce you to um, something that you already know in the RV industry, uh, Mr. Lee Tiffin, president of Tiffin Motorhomes. Thanks, Angie. Hey, Lee. Great to be here. Great to have <laughs> you in Florence, <laughs> Alabama. Well, it's great to be here. So you have a big announcement. I wanted to, you know, <laughs> spill the beans, but really it's so special. You should, you should tell everyone what we're this about this beautiful coach that we're standing in front of. So to my knowledge, we're here to introduce the first ever RV that's actually a namesake for someone who's very important to me, obviously not only personally, but in the business too. And that's my grandfather, Bob Tiffin. So we're standing in front of the Bob Tiffin limited edition Allegro bus. And it's phenomenal. I mean, there is no one that's more iconic in the RV industry from the minute I started in this industry, I kept hearing this name, Mr. Bob Tiffin. Bob Tiffin this and Bob Tiffin that, um, to the point that I was in an RV show and I was like, I've got to go meet this Mr. Bob Tiffin because, I mean, he's, you know, every everyone talks about Mr. Tiffin. So um, that's the first time I got to meet him. And so tell us how you're honoring um, your grandpa here. Well, he is one of a kind, as you mentioned. I mean, there's only one Bob Tiffin, and I'll be the first to tell you I'm not his replacement because you can't replace <laughs> him. Um, but 52 years in the business, founded Tiffin Motorhomes in 1972. And we thought, what a special way to honor him by actually building a motorhome in his honor to really uh, encapsulate all the things that he loves and holds near and dear and that are important to him and his wife, my grandmother. I call her JJ. Most folks call her Miss Judy. And uh, I'm very excited for you to have a chance to tour this coach today. Yes, so excited. So um, the concept behind it is there's going to be a limited number. So 82, right? That's right. It's an exclusive club, the Bob Tiffin Limited Edition Club. We're actually calling the model the BTP. And uh, in honor of his 82nd trip around the sun next year, there are only gonna be 82 of these built. So very, very unique. They're all individually numbered with their own special decal. Yeah, very special. Little touches throughout the coach that I'm so excited to share with you um, that just speak to Mr. Bob, the legacy here and beautiful craftsmans craftsmanship that you get with the Tiffin coach. Absolutely. And many of the things that he is passionate about in his life, obviously his work and RVing, uh, family, the Great American West, Packard Automobiles, you'll see a little bit of all of it in the Bob Tiffin Limited Edition. Yep, yep. So there is really no one better to join me. Other, Well, Lee's pretty good, but there's also two other very special people um, that I want them to give us some feedback as we go through and talk about the de details in this special coach. Everyone's in for a treat. Yes, they are. So as much as I'd love to do the honors and introduce these two beautiful people, I'm going to let Lee take over here for me because well, they're pretty special, right? They're very <laughs> special to me. These are my grandparents. I've always called them Papa Bob and JJ. They're more commonly referred to as Bob and Judy Tiffin. So welcome. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate you coming down. And we are so glad to show our new motorhome we got. And Named it after ourselves. <laughs> That's pretty what about special. You? Well, I named it after you. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. So Lee named yeah. it after. Yes, sir. It's a special edition, 45 Allegro bus, Bob Tiffin special. I guess you could call it. That's right. And one it's, of a kind. And one of a kind. And we're going to try to build about 80 something of these this year. That's right. And sell them. They got special, and unique piece uh, features in them, and it's going to be a great. It's going to be a great piece for someone to own that likes the Allegro line. Yeah. So some of the inspiration came from this beautiful car collection that you have here, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it sure did. You know, we love old cars and have been for years and years. And there was a guy a long time ago in the 60s, his name was Carroll Shelby. And he uh, taught Ford Motor Company 
in the name and one of the Chevy Mustang after him, and he signed the sun visor and also signed the, some maybe the dash on some of the Chevys, and that was a real big hit. And I think that's what I had in my mind when I decided to start signing a few of these motorhomes at the shows. I would go to the RV a shows. Few? A few? Just a few? Yeah. <laughs> well, back, back when I first started, five, six years ago, I'd go, go, go to the RV show and I would sign the motorhomes inside the show. Now it's, it's become more and more. People ring the doors for me to sign. I'll sign all the doors all day long. So just bring me the doors. I'll sign them. Just buy another motorhome. <laughs> In fact, yes. it's an unpublished option on a Tiffany. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Pretty neat to have Bob Bob's signature. Um, I know that people do it all the time. And tell us a little bit about how you've named the cars here, haven't you, Judy? Just the Packards. Just the Packards. The, pa <laughs> the Packards went by numbers. And I don't know how many numbers, but they were, I thought, I can't remember those numbers. I'll just name them. And so the funny thing is that the people who work on those cars now call them by name too, because <laughs> it's just it's just easier than to, than so, having call off all these numbers to identify <laughs> a car. So which which one is your favorite? What's her name? Maggie. Maggie, of course. Maggie. <laughs> and in fact, so I think she's she's where is here. she? The black one. The black one right here. The there's Maggie right there. She's been used <clears throat> in weddings. In fact, she was used in Lee and Bailey's wedding. Oh, that was their getaway car. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be a pretty nice getaway car. Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just like you've named the Packards, they've named the coach the Bob Tiffin coach, so no one will have any problem remembering this special edition Bob Tiffin coach. All right, Judy, can I borrow your sweet hubby so that he can walk around with me and tell me some of the unique things that are on this special edition coach? Sure, go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bob, it's just me and you now. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. So here's a great shot of the exterior of the Bob Tiffin edition coach. Um, tell us a little bit about what inspired the exterior. Well, you know, we love the West, Judy and I do, and so we go out there to the West, we go to Sisters. They have these scenes, believe it or not, that you see on, on the Bob Tiffin special here of the mountains. It looks just like it in the mountains. And that's in there. Oregon, right? That's in Oregon, yes. And then, of course, we like, we like New Mexico, and they have mountains there. And, and especially in the afternoon, when the when the sun's setting, or early in the morning when it's when the sun's rising up, you can see these very scenes out there. I think that's my favorite part about being in the Southwest is seeing the silhouette of the mountains when the sun is either coming up over them or going down behind them. You don't get you don't we don't get that scenery here much. Once in a while we'll get a real nice sunset, but you don't have any of the mountains to see. So the mountains make make the make the scenery, and it is so nice. To, to sit out there at the campground and look out from the sofa, look through that big window yep. and see the sun rise. I see that is one of the nicest <laughs> things in the world to see that sun come up. Then also do the same thing in reverse and watch the sun go down. Yep. And it's so nice out there. And, and you know, the climate out west. Nice and dry. It's nice and dry. <laughs> you can be guaranteed 29 days out of 30, the sun's going to shine out there. Yep. And here you can be guaranteed of about It'll try to rain every three or four days, and that's just the way it is in the east. So the, the west is where to really enjoy a motorhome. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. This is the waterfall exterior with the beautiful blue. There's also cinderwood and NASA. So, Bob, is that your actual signature there on the end cap? Yes, it is. It's <laughs> exactly how I sign all the cabinet doors and all the checks. I've been signing checks ever since we've been in business, <laughs> and that's exactly how it looks, yes. All right, well, that's just the first time you're going to get to see his signature. We're going to point out a few more as we go through this little tour. So I know everyone is anxious to see the inside of this beautiful coach. I did want to point out again that we have Bob's signature here, limited edition on the side, and then we've got the beautiful logo here. Tell me, tell me a little bit about the Roughing It Smoothly logo, Bob. Well, years ago, we had a sales guy. His name was Dick Cross, and he was from South Florida. He lived in, in uh, Dade County down there, and he was our, our Southeastern sales rep, and so he, Back in the day, we just had a, we put a spare tire on every coach and put it on the rear bumper. Oh wow! And so we had a white cover that we that we sent along with it, and he put the white cover on there. And then he decided to put roughing it smoothly on it <laughs> and Allegro through the center. And so I took a picture of it and I sent it to our trade, trademark commission guys in 
Birmingham, and they, we trademarked it. Mm -hmm. So it, that is a trademark uh, signature and also decal. So it's rubbing it smoothly. And in the center, we've got the, we got the Tiffin emblem, the logo, the, the funny, I call it a fancy Tiffin, a fancy T or a fancy Tiffin right in the center of it there. Well, I think it looks amazing, and this is anything but roughing it. I can assure you of that. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the inside. Before I show you the interior of this gorgeous coach, I want to point out a couple little things. So I said that we see Bob Tiffin's name throughout. Well, we've got it embroidered on the captain's chairs up front and just looks fabulous. Gives it that high-end look. And then, most importantly, we've got the Bob Tiffin limited edition plate here with his signature. So we are in the very first, number one, zero, zero, one, Bob Tiffin limited edition coach. Well, to say I'm in awe is an understatement. This is just absolutely gorgeous. You, Tiffin, knock this one out of the park. Um, it's so tasteful and has just little bits of you in it, um, which I absolutely love. And I don't know that you planned it, but you wore the perfect shirt this morning, Mr. Oh. Bob. <laughs> Did you plan that? No, I just put a shirt on, but it just happened to be one that looks like the Southwest. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the coach has a Southwest flair to it, really subtle, um, very like the spirit of the Southwest, not overdone, just so tasteful, so beautiful. We'll walk you all around it. But before we get going, I wanted to ask you a question about the name Allegro Bus and where that came from, because we have these beautiful signs in the background. So. Tell us a story. Back in the old days, when we first started, the motorhomes were all put in magazines. We had Trader Life and Motorhome Life and two or three other publications, and all the publications did the selling. In other words, we would buy a full-page ad in Trader Life or Motorhome Life, and, and we, we would put our motorhomes in there, and, and people would flip to the back to see the alphabetical listing. Well, Tiffin is way down. Right. <laughs> and so I decided we need something that started with an A. So Judy and I were talking about it one day. I said, well, we've got this motorhome built. I want you to come up with a name that's A. And just that quick. She said, Allegro. <laughs> I, I said, love it. She, I, of course, she's a musician. And so it means to pick the tempo up. It means happy and lively and sprightly. And so we, we just named it. I said, that's the perfect name. We'll just name it Allegro and we'll be right there with Airstream. I love it, I love it. Allegro, lightly, happy. And sprightly, yeah. Exactly what you should be if you're in an sure. RV. If you're lucky enough to get to live the RV lifestyle any way, shape, or form, you should be happy, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and what about Phaeton? Well, Phaeton was an old term. You know, for years we just built gasoline motorhomes. And so I decided one day we need to build some diesel. So in 90, 92 or 93, we started building diesel and the engine was in the rear. And so we, we call them diesel pushers. Well, you know, that was okay for a while, but then we needed to have a Pacific name for it. And so I got to looking around, and so I looked at all these old cars that we have, and the nicest cars that were built in the 30s were Phaetons. And the name Phaeton means a fancy four-wheel carriage. Oh, And so that's I perfect. decided that's what we needed. So we named, we named the, we had one model, we just called it the Phaeton, and it's, a, it's still one of the number one sellers in the United States. And it still lives up to its name, very fancy. Yeah. Uh, more than four wheels <laughs> carrier, but that's that's great. Oh, I love hearing those stories. That's wonderful. Um, just brings a little a history to everything you've done for this industry. So it's just great. So the first thing you notice when you walk into the BTP, the Bob Tiffin Pusher, see we even got a little acronym for it already, is this gorgeous floor. I fell in love with it. I absolutely love it. I love how they mix the porcelain tile marble look with the wood detail, and it just gives it a nice little southwestern feel. It almost feels like a cowhide to me. It's so unique, and no one else has anything like it. Kind of like Mr. Bob here. No one else is anything like him. So I love that. I also love the stairwell. When you walk into the coach, super pretty. Just has a little bit of that Southwest fill. And then look at the beautiful ceiling treatment. Again, totally unique to the BTP. 
So you'll see the beautiful Southwest pillows. They totally coordinate with Mr. Bob's shirt, <laughs> which, you know, we, we kind of match and we didn't yeah. even plan this. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love it. They just, it's, it's so tasteful. And Mr. Bob and Miss Judy's, one of their favorite places to travel is the Southwest, right? We love all the West, of course. It's nice in the east too, but you know, you always guaranteed so much more sunshine out west, so that's why it's so nice. And, and we did this, uh, we do love the cars, and so we did the Packard grill, you might say right up there. Yes, I, I love one. that. In the fascia, we've got the yes, Packard grill, yes, we've got an arrowhead, and I know the interior package is kind of based off the names or based off some of your favorite Packards, and we've got a couple of pictures sure. in the coach as well. One of the pictures here is Buttercup, and it's a 41 Packard right over here in the south side. <laughs> The other Packard here is uh, is uh, Maggie, and it's the black Packard. The reason it's named Maggie is because it's Judy said we need to name it Maggie because of magpies. Oh, and, and the magpies are out west, and so that's where you see the you see the black, and so that's the reason Maggie is named Maggie. It's a 1940 Packard four-door convertible sedan and model 160. It's a fine car, and believe it or not, Danielle Steele, the author, oh really, owned this car. Wow. Back, back several years ago before I bought it. In How neat. Yeah. I'm sure there's so much. I could spend days, I think, here with Mr. Bob in the car barn. <laughs> <laughs> now, how did it come up with a car barn? Because this doesn't look like any kind of barn to me. Well, in Red Bay, we do have a barn, and it's a, it's it's got a tent, it's got a metal roof, and it's got a wood frame bit, bit, and it looks like a barn, but it's not shaped like a like a barn that a farmer uses. But it's just a long bit of building, and the the guys in the it's a shop. They named it they named it the car barn because that's where <laughs> I had all my cars, and so when I decided to bring the cars up here we had to build this building and we did and of course i i wanted a little bit better place for the cars and that's real dusty down there this is not so dusty here so this is we but you know the name is stuck we call this the, the car <laughs> barn too so yeah. i love it all right so let's keep on here so just notice the beautiful i absolutely love the window treatments they're really subdued there's um you just they really maximize the windows which that's what we are RVing for, so we can see the beautiful outdoors. We can open up those windows. I absolutely love that. Notice the rustic hardware. That is totally unique to the BTP, so you're not gonna see it on anything except the limited edition coach. This is a nice, big kitchen, lot of counter space, beautiful backsplash, and how about that nice big window? Yes, my son Van, mm -hmm. that does our, a lot of our design work. It works in the, works in the plan every day. He just, he thought we needed a big window there. I said, well, man, we've always had this a small window there. And he said, no, he said, we need a big window. So he designed that big window. And it's one of the most talked about things when I go to the show is the big window. Everybody loves it. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that Van had the right idea. And it is. I mean, the, the thing about your coaches, I think, they feel huge. This living area, I'm not sure why, but it feels bigger than any other coach I've ever been in. And then the big windows, I think, help also sure. just because it brings the outside in one thing that makes this motorhome look so nice and wide inside is because it is it's got two 32 inch slide outs on both sides and so you get double slides and you just barely have got room to walk down the middle we didn't want to choke off the inside so you couldn't get from the front to the back but this is where it's at because people love the room oh it's it's so big not only do they love the room but the other thing that i heard for years and years and years yeah were the big cabinets in sure, at Tiffin. Sure. So, you know, I can't do a video and not show those because you get so much storage there. Sure. So I always would, all my Tiffin buyers would be, well, in my Tiffin I get, and in my Tiffin I get, and <laughs> this is one of the big features that they love. Yeah, big cabinets and lots of space, deep cabinets. Mm -hmm. And also the galley, the, the galley cabinets and the dishwasher over there is really neat too. That's a, and yeah. I always like your uh, your high dishwasher. Sure. So that you're not bending all over to do all the work. That's so right. you guys are smart. Well, we, we use motorhomes, so that makes a big difference. <laughs> that yeah. makes a huge <laughs> difference. So Anyone that's used a motorhome, you come back from a trip sure. and you're like, these are the things that need to change, right? Sure. So you can tell that you and Judy have used done a lot of RVing in your lifetime. So it's all about the details when we're selling coaches, right? It's the little things that I, I notice and that I love. 
Um, in your kitchen, we've got the extra little cooler, wine cooler there. And then I love that they did the wood paneling on the refrigerator, so it just blends beautifully with the rest of the coach. And again, we've got the arrowhead, a little, a little bob sure. touch. Sure. <laughs> yeah, we, we try, to, try to listen to the, what the owner wants. And you know, we, when we do the factory tour every day down at the plant, we send a, a sheet down there to them and see, what would you like in the galley? What would you like in the bathroom? What would you like in the front of the motorhome? We send this questionnaire out to our owners when they come through the plant. And then we get really good input from the owners to try to build the motorhome like they like. Well, I think that's one of the big keys to their success is the fact that you are so involved with your customers. And I know you still are on a daily basis, aren't you? Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> I work there every day. And my door is always open. Anybody can come in. If they got a problem, I'll, do, I'll deal with it and try to help them. Here in the beautifully appointed master bedroom, we have, again, more unique things for the Bob Tiffin edition, limited edition. So we have the headboard, which is just for this coach, the beautiful pillows. Again, notice the hardware. We've got the windows on either side, so you've got a nice cross breeze. And then across from the bed, we've got this 50 inch TV. This is the biggest TV I've seen in a master bedroom. So. That's gotta be a huge selling point. Nice countertop there, and I love the fireplace. Do you love a fireplace in an RV? Oh yes, and th this fireplace really works. Hey, well, he, this, you go, this motorhome will handle 25 or 30 below zero, if you, if you really had to do it. Yes, I yes. Don't, I would, don't recommend getting it that <laughs> cold, but if you, had the, if you had the generator running and it was that cold, you could manage. Yeah, it's amazing. The fireplaces really take the chill off the, the coach warm it up sure. the quickest of anything. It does it right away. Of course, this one thing we haven't talked about is the heated tile floor. I know, we have <laughs> another bonus. <laughs> yes, and that, that is, a, in, in normal normal conditions in the winter time, that heated tile floor will heat this motor home. You don't have to have any any other heat but that. Well, and it, it it's really nice. I love, even in the summer, to have the heated floor on just on the low, low. And so then you get out of your bed and your feet touch the ground. It's nice and cozy. <laughs> not, not anything nicer than a nice warm floor when you get out of the bed early in the morning and it's cold outside. Exactly, exactly. I agree. Yeah. So a couple of features that I want to point out. First of all, we talked about the beautiful floor. Um, and Mr. Bob told us about it being heated. Now the other bonus is throughout this coach, it's the same level the whole way. There is no step up. So even into the walk-in closet, we have one level for the floor, which is kind of unheard of, right? Sure. Almost every coach that you go into, there's a step up. So I really love that. Then you've got to notice the beautiful artwork. Again, when I said you guys nailed it, like just everything tells the story so perfectly of you and Judy and the things that you love and they just, put them in every element of this coach so tastefully. I absolutely love it, but you'll see the beautiful hardware, nice big countertop there, all that storage behind the mirrors. You can take all your stuff, right? You can carry everything. You can get you can get enough stuff in here to live the whole winter time in Phoenix, Arizona if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like I think I know where you want to spend your winters. <laughs> it was a little chilly this morning when we got up, it so sure was. <laughs> But I just love this nice big shower. And you'll notice, um, again, in the backsplashes, in the shower, even in the half bath, the backsplash has a little bit more of that spirit of the Southwest. I love it too. And I, I think anyone that would buy this motor home would really, really have a good, a good value and they could really enjoy it. Yes, absolutely. Well, I just want to thank the Tiffin family for having me here today. Uh, I've met my match in Lee. I, I don't even know if I can say that because he's got not only a great uh, personality for the camera, um, we've got a great voice, and I'm giving him all these accolades, and then I come to find out that it's in the genes. Oh, you're too kind. I don't know. <laughs> I just, uh, it's been a real treat for me to be here today. Well, I hear that your other grandpa has had a radio He show. had a radio voice. That's right. <laughs> there there That's it right. is, folks. Yep. Came out on us. <laughs> yes, you did. You did. Well, I just wanted to thank you again, Lee, for giving me the opportunity to be with these two wonderful, wonderful people that truly I have never been um, 
in my career, short career compared to yours, I'm more honored to introduce a new product that's based off um, a legend icon, Mr. Bob Tiffin. And you know, this is the one of one of a kind. I don't think anyone else could have do something like this because no one has the legacy that you've created. Um, so I'm just gonna ask you one more question, Bob. Uh, what's been the key to your success? That's a good question. But it's always doing what you say you will do when you say you will do it and treat everybody kind. So great words to live by, something that we can all do easily and have in our lives and, and hopefully enjoy the same success that you have. So thank you from the bottom of my, my heart um, for being here today and you don't want to miss this coach. Um, limited edition, 82 of them, right? That's it. 82. So don't this delay. Year. <laughs> this year, that's right. Angie, thanks so much. Oh my goodness, the pleasure was all mine. Thank you so much and thank you too so much. Thank you. Really appreciate it. This, will, this day is one that I will, will not forget. So thank you so much for being with us today. Make sure you don't miss this beautiful coach and have a wonderful day.